hi everybody welcome to my channel this is olivia ko um, if you are new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe uh, here to my channel and click the thumbs up sign if you like my videos um today we're going to um, since this is summer and still summer um it's not summer anymore but there's still a lot of mangoes uh, we can see in the market so it's a, a little bit timely still timely and I'm going to make pickled mango uh, it's not the Filipino style it's maybe a little bit Chinese style <laughs> uh, the one I like to eat uh, it's a little bit sweet and yeah I I'm fond of eating this uh, as a dessert, usually as a dessert or merienda. So, mm, let's start doing it habang hindi pa siya nahihinog. So, kailangan green na green siya so it will be crunchy. Kasi kapag binabad mo siya, madali, parang madali din siyang huminog. So, let's start doing it. Come on, let's go to the kitchen. making pickled mangoes let's wash them first ano sabunin sabunin sige sabunin pero babalatan ko din sige sabunin tapos balatan I wash a lot of mangoes ang dami kong ginawa ang dami dami niyan siguro mga more than 5 kilos. And when you look at it, it's green. Pero pagka binalatan ko na, it's yellow na sa loob minsan. So, kailangan, pagkabili ko, agad-agad ko nang ginagawa usually. Hindi ko na inaantay the next day kasi magi-yellow na siya talaga. These are all the mangoes. And we're gonna cut it. Dinilagyan dito na. And now, I'm going to cut it hinihiwa ko na. Gusto ko yun pa-side siya. Ayaw ko yun pahaba. Gusto ko yun, ah, ganun, manipis. Ayaw ko siyang makapal. Para crunchy. Ayan, ang dami-dami. Buti tinulungan ako ng asawa ko. Kapag ganun kasi ang cut ko, mas madali din ata siyang tumamis kaysa yun makapal. Yun nabibili natin, it's, ano, yung cut niya, yung isang klase. Eh, parang hindi lahat mas mad uh, hindi lahat madaling tumamis. This green one is better. Crunchy pa yan. Pag green na green, kaysa this one, tignan mo ito, yellow na siya dyan. Uh, pag hiniwa ko siya, hindi na yan crunchy eh. Ano na, masarap na lang i-sausaw sa alamang. <laughs> May ganun dilaw na, na ano. Ginagawa ko dyan. Ito, ginagawa ko dyan. Kasi malambot na siya. Hindi siya crunchy. Hindi siya crunchy. Ginagawa ko dyan, kinakain ko. Ganun. Ganun. Hmm, masarap siya. Tapos isaw-saw natin sa bagoong. Hmm. Ayun mga... Ito na yung mga butong na tapos na naming hiwain. Yan na lang yung tira. Ayan, dalawang langgana. Yun. Dalawang stainless cut, ang nagawa namin. We cut it Ayan. like that. We slice it like I this. I think more than... So it's easier to wash. Ah, less than 10 kilos sweet. siguro to. And, yan. Madaming yellow na to. So masarap siyang kainin, di ba? Eh, sayang naman, di ba? O, oh, madami pang laman. So, kakainin ko na lang. Break time. Break time after nag, ano, nagtrabaho. Madami yan. Ano? Mga ngasib ang ngipin ko. Takaw eh. Masarap pag nilagyan ko ng bagoong. Pero yung... Yun mga ganon, hindi ko yung kakainin. Sobrang asim. Yung mga ganon lang, yung mga yellow-yellow lang. 
Sarap. Maasim. Mamaya nalagyan ko ng bago. Ayan mang. Later, we'll wash the mingos. Come on. Tapos na. Break time. Nagtrabaho na tayo uli. We'll wash it with water. Yan. Hugasan ng tubig lang muna. Hanggang maalis yung mga puti-puti. Yung tubig mo hindi na maputi. Sobra kasing ano, hindi magkasya. Oh. Ayan o, oh, tinan mo, maputi yung water. Ayan, hugasan natin hanggang hindi na magputi yung water. Ayan, may plangganan na ako. Siguro three times natin sa Wash them. Wash them until the water is not... Ayan, oh. Until the water is not white anymore. This still, ano, mga two to three times. After washing, we put sea salt on the water. We start, we'll start with 2 to 3 tablespoons and then add later kung kulang pa. Uh, the reason we put salt because para maalis yung asim nung... Ibabad muna natin sa salt water para maalis yung asim ng mangga natin. Let's make halo halo. Hala ka ganun. Tatakpan ko na lang. Hmm. Let's put all the... Ma maalat na yung tubig. Pero pag kulang pa, dadagdagan pa natin yung tubig. Huwag natin ihalo yung mga tubig dito. Kasi, ano, maasim pa yan. Yan yung pinagugasan pa kami na. Huwag natin ilagay. Para fresh water. Pag dinagdagan ko pa ng tubig, magdadagdag pa ako ng salt. Uy, akit pati yung tubig sumama. Ayan. Ayan. Parang hindi siya nakalublog. Kailangan nakalublog. Sa tubig. So, dagdagan pa natin ng water. Ayan, tama na yan. Tama na yan. And then, I think Tagdagad ko pa ng isa pang ano, tablespoon o dalawa pa. Ayan. Ayan. Tapos.
tapos haluin natin. Usually, ibababad ko to ng overnight. Uh, kunyari, mga 10 to 12 hours. And then, tomorrow na natin babalikan yan. So, takpan natin ng towel. Yan. Dinrain ko na. I drain the, yung binabad kagabi sa salt water. Dinadrain natin. And then, huhugasan uli yan. I made syrup. I put one cup of water and two cups of brown sugar and a little slice of lemon para mabango-bango siya. I'm putting the strained mangoes to a container. Two containers actually. So I'm transferring this. After putting it in the container. Here. Okay. And I divide the syrup in the two containers equally para ano. Tamang tama. And then, after a few days, pwede na siya. Pwede mo nang ikutin. And then, pwede. So, we're gonna put it on the refrigerator. I think I'm gonna put it in for two to three days. After one day, I'm going to halo-halo it. Turn it around so the others can, can be, ano, lub, lub in the sugar syrup. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something new and I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you enjoyed, please click the thumbs up sign and please comment down below for your comments and suggestion if you want me to do anything else. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe and click the thumbs up sign and the notification bell so you'll be updated on my future videos thanks for watching see you next time bye